praise the TV interview to such a high art. The only person who's truly qualified to interview you is you. <laughs> but you can't do that, can you? Yes, I can. Take a look. <laughs> May I say that it is both an honor and a privilege for you to be interviewed by me. Let me ask you, when you conceived The View, you said, I wanted to do a show with women with different views. Any regrets? Well, at the time, little did I know that I would be surrounded by four cackling hens all speaking over each other where I couldn't get a word in edgewise. A far cry from my respected work on the ABC News program, 2020. It has been said about me, and I quote, she's a tough broad, and she's all business. But since my time on The View, people have gotten to see a fun, almost whimsical side of me that some swear previously never existed. Believe me, it existed. As you can read in my best-selling book, Audition, where I write about having a no-holds-barred sexual affair with a black man. Do you want the exact page number? Should I underline it? 169. Not a coincidence. When you first started The View, did you have any idea that it would turn into the juggernaut success that it would become? Yes, I did. And I take complete credit. <laughs> Although I did have a little help from my longtime friend and executive producer, Bill Getty. Barbara? What was your fondest moment with Bill? Because my fondest moment with Bill was in 1972. I was in a hot tub with Burt Backrack, Henry Kissinger, the Captain Antonio, and that irrepressible funny man, Shaky Green. We drank Mai Tais and speculated about the Vietnam War till little Burgess Meredith entered the tub and asked if we'd like to meet his new friend, Mary Jane. That didn't happen. The Black Sea, 1981. I was at a Russian hoedown with Mikhail Gorbachev, R.J. Wagner, Smokin' Joe Frazier, Don DeLuise, and an already liquored up teenager by the name of Vlad Putin. R.J. and Smokin' Joe had gotten to a quarrel, which prompted Mikhail and I to steal away on our horses to his dacha, where we showered ourselves in stoly peppered vodka till the light of the morning sun. Can I ask you something? How do you think that you will spend your time after leaving The View? Well, I've accomplished so much in my career, but there are certain things that I feel like I've missed out on. Ordinary things, like, I'd like to get a Costco card. <laughs> I'd also like to visit the theme park, Magic Mountain, with my beloved and trusted companion, Cha-Cha. Thank you, Barbara. I'm so touched. Barbara, I have loved doing you. Uh-oh. Sounds like someone owes me dinner. <laughs> she, uh, she is amazing. I thank you, Sharia Terry. We'll be right back with the real. I don't know who. Just stay with us.